Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, for years now, we have been talking about how the massive increase in the world's obsession with UFOs and aliens is happening for a reason. Actually, this whole thing really started taking off after the Roswell incident in 1947, which happened right before Israel became a nation on May 14th, 1948. However, just over the past two years or so, this whole UFO and alien thing has gone to a whole new level, and it's about to get even crazier in the coming days. We have been talking about how once millions upon millions of born-again believers suddenly vanish at an event known as the rapture of the church, that world leaders and governments will blame the event on something involving UFOs, alien abductions, something along those lines. I want to share with you what just came out and what's going to be happening next week, specifically on Wednesday, July 26th, and why we need to be paying attention and prepared for what is coming. But most importantly, why this is important in regards to end times Bible prophecy. So I want to share with you the breaking story that just came out on Fox News. There's a lot of major news sources covering this, but this is just out on Fox News. Look at the title of this article, folks. Lawmakers allege chilling UFO cover-up ahead of historic congressional hearing. Folks, I want you to pay very close attention to what I'm about to read to you. Listen to this. Lawmakers said that they had an argument with a commanding officer at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida as they pushed for answers about UFOs. Representatives Tim Burchett and Anna Polina said their efforts to disclose records about UFOs, or what the government calls UAPs, have been met with resistance from the Pentagon and the intelligence community. Lawmakers will hear from former military service members David Grush, Ryan Graves, and David Fravor during the House's National Security Subcommittee meeting next Wednesday, which is July 26th, uh, Burchett said at Thursday's press conference. The Pentagon and Washington bureaucrats have kept this information hidden for decades, and we're finally going to shed some light on it. They're ready to disclose, folks, or they're pushing for disclosure here. Uh, we're bringing in credible witnesses who can provide public testimony about the American pe uh, because the American people deserve the truth. We're done with the cover-ups. The American public has a right to learn about technologies of unknown origins, non-human intelligence, and unexplainable phenomena, Graves told Fox News Digital dur during an exclusive interview on Wednesday. We are not only working to declassify what the government has previously learned about these phenomena, but to create a pipeline for future research to be made public. The part that really got my attention is when Burchett came forth and said the Pentagon and Washington bureaucrats have kept this information hidden for decades and we're finally going to shed some light on it. We're bringing incredible witnesses who can provide public testimony because the American people deserve the truth. We're done with the cover-ups. Folks, this whole UFO and alien thing is about to get a whole nother notch up. Not just in the United States, but all over the world. World governments are preparing for major UFO disclosure. It is not a coincidence that our movies, our television shows, our entertainment are filled with alien abductions, UFOs, uh, the supernatural. People are obsessed with this stuff, folks. It's not a coincidence that UFO sightings have skyrocketed all over the world. It is not a coincidence that alien abduction reports have skyrocketed all over the world. And it is not a coincidence that militaries around the world are coming out at this particular time and releasing declassified footage of UFO encounters. Now, I want to make something very clear again. People are seeing something, folks, but it's not 
aliens in the term of what the world calls aliens, like you see on the screen here. No, I'm not an alien from outer space. I am a demonic fallen angel. I am not extraterrestrial. I am interdimensional. No, I don't come in peace. I come in the name of Satan, and my purpose is to deceive, harm, and to destroy you. So again, with all these UFO sightings and alien abduction reports, yes, people are seeing something and they are experiencing something. But it's not what people think in returns of little green men. No, this is all part of the strong delusion that is coming after the rapture of the church. Because once millions upon millions of born-again believers in Jesus Christ suddenly vanish at the rapture, people are going to be looking for an answer. They're going to be looking for someone to come forth and save the day. That's when the Antichrist will come forth, as well as the world governments and leaders at the time. And they're going to have an answer to explain where everybody went. Because they're not just going to come forth and say, Jesus Christ just came and raptured his church. No, they're going to come forth and it's going to involve something involving aliens or UFOs and something along these lines. And that's why we're witnessing all this craziness involving UFOs and aliens right now. And that's why you're going to see in the coming days, especially next Wednesday, when they have this congressional hearing with all these testimonies that uh, witnesses are going to bring forth, because major disclosure is coming, not just in the United States, but all over the world, because we are being conditioned to believe the lie that is coming following the rapture of the church. I want you to turn with me to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're going to read verse 6 to 12 right now. And ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So very clearly, in context... 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6 to 12, once the restrainer is taken away at the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, and then that wicked's going to be revealed. This is referring to the future Antichrist. So the rapture happens, then the Antichrist is going to be revealed, and they're going to, again, the Antichrist, the world uh, governments and leaders at the time, they're going to have to try to explain away the rapture, and that's where they're going to use something involving aliens or UFOs, again, or something along those lines. But then when you go down to verse 11 there, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11, And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Now, absolutely, part of this strong delusion is going to be the world is going to believe the, the lying signs and wonders from the coming Antichrist. But part of this lie, this strong delusion that the world's going to believe, is absolutely what they're going to try to use to explain away the rapture, which again is going to be something involving aliens, UFOs, or something along those lines. So let's watch and wait and see what happens next week at this congressional hearing, folks. But it looks like this whole UFO and alien thing is about to go a whole nother notch up, not just in the United States, but all over the world, because we know what the Bible says is coming. It's right there. And the world is being conditioned right now, again, to believe the lie that is coming following the rapture of the church. If you find yourself here after millions upon millions of people suddenly vanish, and you hear the world leaders and a figure come forth that's going to, I call him Mr. Fix-It-All, the Bible calls him the Antichrist, He's going to appear as a Messiah who's going to save the day. He's going to have all the answers for what happened to all these people that vanished. Um, don't believe the lie. Like you see on the screen here, alien has lie in it. They are a, a lion to you. It wasn't aliens. It wasn't UFOs. What just happened is what's recorded in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 53. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, Jesus Christ just came to catch away, to snatch away 
those that are his, those that are saved, to meet him in the air, to be with him in heaven, while the judgment of God is being poured out on humanity during a horrific time known as the tribulation. Trust me, you do not want to be here for what is coming on this planet. Just go read Revelation chapter 6 through Revelation chapter 19. It's going to be a horrific time. You do not want to be here for what's coming. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on a lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.